Hello, everyone. Welcome into Letterman Row. I am Austin Ward. This, you know him. He's the former Ohio State star, NFL star, Jimmy Chequa. It's Buck IQ. We're talking DBs, talking cornerbacks, and we've talked about this guy once before, Chimney. Yeah. I was on the same page as you that Damon Arnett was going to have a much better chance to succeed for Ohio State. He still had all the ability. I think so far he's proven us right. Yeah, he has. <laughs> um, he's a really good player. I think of all the DBs, he's been the best so far in the man and zone. Um, and you can just see it, man, his aggressiveness, his aggressiveness at the point of attack. Um, he's always been in good coverage. Um, there was one play, they, they did get a deep ball on him, but he was in good coverage. Um, little, little things that you might need to clean up on that, but other than that, man, he's been, he's been, he's been legit. You know, we're going to talk about the interception and the pick six and some of that. But he, he's talked about playing with more swagger. I know the DBs, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's almost what you have to do, right? I mean, yeah. do, do, as someone who's played the position, do you notice that? Do you see him carrying himself differently than a year ago? I do, and that swag equals confidence, you know, and that confidence allows you to do some of the things that, you know, when doubt creeps in, it really hurts your game, especially as a, as a cornerback. Um, so, I mean, you can see it. Yeah. Know, he's out there. He's making sure that, you know, he's looking in the right spots. He's, he's being disciplined. But when it's time to go make a play, he goes there and makes that play. All right, he's going to have a couple chances for sure on Saturday night at Nebraska. Adrian Martinez, that quarterback, he's dangerous. Ohio State and the Silver Bullets looking to keep that momentum going. Chimney's going to break down how Damon Arnett factors into those plans for the Buckeyes right now. Let's roll the tape. All right, Chimney, uh, after all that criticism that we talked about there with Damon <laughs> Arnett last year, he's come out and these first four games, he's really been one of the best players, I think, on the Ohio State defense, you, you think? Yeah, if you remember, I wasn't one of those people <laughs> criticizing That's him. right. You know, I've, I felt strongly about his ability to play, and on this play, you just see the aggressiveness at the point of attack, which is important for a DB. A lot of guys, um, when they go to make the play, they think it's, it's enough for, for them to just put their hand up there and try to knock the ball away mm -hmm. but he jumps into the receiver and he misses the ball initially if you watch the, the, the this other angle he mi misses the ball but he continues to follow through and puts everything into getting this ball out which is what you have to do at the point of attack all right so we, there was always this conversation in the last couple of years about getting the head around well this is an example of that technique where he's got to just go up and if he's turning around he's getting beat right yeah and this is the Every everybody in hindsight, when they see a replay, says if he just turned his head around, he could pick the ball <laughs> off. What they don't understand is, you know, I took geom geometry, and you don't always have this, the right angle. Yeah. The way the ball is coming at this angle is difficult to get your head around and still be able to be in position to actually go make a play on the ball. So as a DB, you have to be comfortable to be able to make plays with, without even seeing the ball because the receiver tells you everything. You look at that receiver. You look at this receiver right now. Mm -hmm. Him going up for the ball, the ball has to be close. His eyes, you watch his eyes, you can see when that ball is getting close. And then once his hands go up, so let's look at his eyes. His eyes will get big. Once his hands go up, you go up and it, with your hands and make the and play. And he's not jumping for no reason. No, right, <laughs> right. If he's jumping, the ball is there. And then if you're aggressive and you follow through and make sure that you're doing everything you can to get the ball out like Arnett does here, you're going to have a good chance of making this play. You, there was a, a play uh, this past week with uh, Werner, mm -hmm. and he was in the same position, and you could tell he, was, he wasn't comfortable in that position. Yeah, so Damon Arnett looking pretty comfortable, maybe more comfortable than he's ever been in his career. This Indiana game was a great sort of coming out party for him again, or re-coming out. Uh, obviously, there's a pick coming later, but this is another example of him just closing on the football and, and breaking something up. Yeah, and, and it looked like an easy play. He was in good coverage. But what he does is, when he gets to the receiver, he continues to, to run through it, run, attack the ball, and go make that play. Um, Arnett's doing a really good job, and I'm really impressed with him. But, again, I expected him to do this. Yeah. Um, he has the talent and all the ability to make these things happen. When these routes are coming across the field like this and you're trying to uh, avoid maybe some of the wash, what's the challenge here for a corner? Well, well the biggest challenge is there's a lot of traffic in the middle. Mm -hmm. But what Arnett is doing, he's actually helping out. And you see, he's taking over this route okay. for uh, the DB, who's actually chasing this, this receiver right here. So he's taking over, and he just does a good job of closing on the, on the ball and going to make the play. Another uh, pass broken up there for Damon Arnett at Indiana. Uh, we'll get back to the end of the Indiana game for him and the real kind of show-me moment there. But this is last week, and again, showing that improvement in some, some man coverage. Yeah, I mean, this is just textbook coverage and he does a good job of as he gets the as he goes to get the ball out 
you know, kind of wraps the receiver. A lot of times you get called for <laughs> it's a close one, a, right? A pass interference. <laughs> but look, man, you got to be aggressive, man. If you if you're not aggressive at the point of attack, these receivers who are on scholarship, I don't care if Miami, Ohio, I don't care if it's FAU, they will make plays. They will catch the ball. So you have to be aggressive. Um, you have to you got to have a feel for it and be able to time it up right. I know to a defensive back, that's not pass interference ever, right? That's just that's playing the game. No, that's not even close to pass interference <laughs> in my head. <laughs> All right, here's the one that, uh, you know, Damon Arnett, he wouldn't say, I gave him the chance, uh, I told you so, to everyone who criticized him coming back. This is the kind of play he's been wanting to make for a long time. And, Jim, do you know how good this must feel? Yeah, it feels great. It felt great for me watching it. You know, I, I almost just yelled. Cause I was like, <laughs> when are we going to get a pick? And then I, I saw this, but... Um, you can see they, they ran kind of a, a tight end, like high play. Um, everybody going one way and the tight end trying to sneak out to the, to the backside. But Arnett does a good job of being disciplined, mm-hmm. having good eye discipline. He recognizes this guy coming back. And the quarterback, what happens with a lot of times with these players, they don't see the corner you know, sitting there backside. So Arnett got one of those you know, great opportunities and he wanted to make the play. And then the fun begins after that. Yeah, and I'm really, <laughs> I'm really impressed with his swag as he, <laughs> you know, ran, uh, ran his back for a touchdown. You could and, tell he's been waiting a while for that one. Right, right. He's, he, you know, he's pointing to his mom in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> as you look at his other replay too, I think you can see Ryan Day running down the sideline. I think everybody in the program knows, sort of the adversity he's been through, and feels so good for him to to have a chance to really shine here as he let it go. Yeah, here's this guy. He's pretty fired up. So. Uh, you got to love to see that. Yeah, and if we go back, this is important because when the, when the ball's coming here, a lot, of, a lot of corners stop where the receiver is mm-hmm. and try to go make a play. What's important is he goes and attacks the ball. Okay, he doesn't care yeah. about the receiver at this point. He did everything he was supposed to do discipline-wise. He was in the right position. At that point, he goes and attacks the ball and goes, goes and makes the play. Makes the pick. He's still got a cast on his hand. Everything about it, uh, pretty impressive to me for what Damon Arnett has done. Good to get Chimney Chekwa's thoughts on it, as always, in here for Buck IQ. Got more coming as we continue to cover Ohio State ahead of Nebraska at Letterman Row. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.